to read Mr Wolf's Pancakes by Jan Fernley. One day, Mr Wolf was feeling hungry. He fancied some pancakes. Yum, yum, he said, licking his lips at the thought of a big pile of fresh, delicious pancakes. Mr Wolf had never made pancakes before, so he took the big recipe book down off the shelf and looked inside. But wolves can't read very well, and Mr Wolf had trouble making sense of it. So he went to get some help from his neighbours. Have a look at how he's holding the book. I think I know why he's having trouble. He called on Chicken Lickin, who lived nearby. Please can you help me read this? he asked. Now, said Chicken Lickin, slamming the door in Mr Wolf's face. Bang! Oh dear, sighed Mr Wolf. He sat down, slowly read the book and worked out what he needed all by himself. We can have a look at the picture. There's all the ingredients that he's thinking about and he's holding the book the right way now. Well done, Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf looked in his cupboard for the ingredients, but he couldn't find anything he needed. I'll go to the shop, he decided, and he settled down to write a list. But wolves aren't very good at writing, so Mr Wolf called on Wee Wee Winky. You're very clever, said Mr Wolf. Can you help me write my shopping list, please? No, said Wee Wee Winky. Go away. He slammed his door. Bang. It's no need to be like that, said Mr Wolf quietly. He doesn't have very friendly neighbours. Mr Wolf sat down and tried very hard with his writing until he made his shopping list all by himself. Now he needed to count his money to make sure he had enough. But wolves aren't very good at counting, so he went to the gingerbread man for some help. Can you help me count my money, please? He asked politely. No, I'm too busy to bother with you, said the gingerbread man, slamming his door. Bang. See if you can join in with this. Uh, you might know some of the words now. See if you can join in. So poor Mr Wolf had to sit down and count his money. It took him a long time and he had to check it three times before it was right. But he did it all by himself. Mr Wolf needed a basket to carry his shopping. So he called on Little Red Riding Hood. Please may I borrow your basket, he said very nicely. I'm not lending my basket to you, said Little Red Riding Hood. Now clear out. So Mr Wolf set off to the shop without a basket. I'll manage, he said. This says Old Mother Hubbard's General Store. Pickety pickety black hen eggs, fresh today. Mary shell, Mary's cockle shells and silver bells. Magic wands, that's handy. Mr. Wolf went to the shop. He looked at his list, remembered what he needed, counted out his money and carried the eggs, milk and flour home. All by himself. Now it was time to make the pancakes, but wolves aren't very good at cooking. So Mr. Wolf called on the three little pigs. Please can you help me cook my pancakes? I'll share them with you, he said kindly. No chance, chorused the pigs, slamming their doors. Bang, bang, bang. Mr Wolf felt sad because nobody wanted to help him. Mr Wolf went home and started to make the pancakes all by himself. Soon there was a huge pile of delicious pancakes on the table all ready for eating. Well done, Mr Wolf. He is a really lovely little wolf. He speaks so nicely to everybody. He works so hard. He seems like a really nice character, I think. Now, as Mr Wolf had been making his pancakes, a lovely smell had drifted out of the kitchen, all through the town. All his neighbours could smell it and it made them feel very hungry. They wanted some pancakes too. They decided to try their luck. They could 
to all of the characters that he's met. Can you remember who they all are? There's Gingerbread Man, there's that Chicken Nickin, Three Pigs, Wee Willy Winky and Red Riding Hood. So they knocked on Mr Wolf's door. Give us some of your pancakes, said the rotten lot. Why should I give any to you, said Mr Wolf. Not one of you would help me. We'll help you eat them, replied Mr Wolf's neighbours, nastily. Anyway, we're not going away until you give us some. Mr Wolf thought very hard for a moment. There was only one decent thing to do. Oh, very well then, he sighed. You'd better come in. So Mr Wolf is having a think. He seems like a really nice little wolf and he's thought that there's only one nice thing that he can possibly do now. Can you guess what Mr Wolf is going to do? Hmm. What would be the kind thing to do at this point? There they all go. Mr Wolf opened the door wide and whoosh! His greedy neighbours rudely pushed him aside and dashed down the hall. Mr Wolf shook his head, shrugged his shoulders, followed them into the kitchen and when they were all in... <gasps> Mr Wolf gobbled them up. Snippity snappity. And that was the end of his unhelpful neighbours. And then, with his bulging tummy not quite full, Mr Wolf sat down to eat his pile of pancakes. And he did it all by himself. Well, there was nobody else around. Can you see what happened to those rude neighbours? It looks like our Mr Wolf wasn't such a good little wolf after all. He's eaten them. Oh no. And his pancakes. Uh, have you ever made pancakes at home? If you have a look on tapestry, we're going to have some ideas for games and activities that you can do based on this story. Bye! Mm -hmm.